my 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 gemini what is going on with you baby it is scorpion red zero i am back at it again one time for the one time to let you guys know what is going on for february 2020 yes indeed baby it is show me the money season shout out to all my divine masculines that is in their divine masculine takeover season yes sir shout out to all my strong kings out there all right we are reloading all right so shout out to all my ogs to all all my newbies thank you for every last one of you for stopping through and clicking this video and showing love make sure that you hit that like share and that subscribe button thank you to everyone who has been booking donating and sending any type of love and positive vibrations over here to scorpion red tarot i appreciate you all thank you so much this is definitely still uh, we're in the thanksgiving season um still seriously so thank you guys so so very much i know i'm in the thanksgiving season for real so um if anyone would like to send any type of love or if you would like to book only thing you need to do is click that about tab all right all of my booking information and the booking prices is in the description um you can contact me through Instagram or um, Google Hangouts. Google Hangouts is an easy free app to download. If you don't have Instagram, we can communicate through Instagram after you book. Make sure that you send me communication through Instagram or Google Hangouts. Only thing you need to do if you don't have the Instagram is download Google Hangouts and use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. All right. So um, if you guys would like to send any love, um, the Cash App, the PayPal, and as well as the Amazon wish list is there. Thank you, so, um, you guys, so much for all of the love that you guys have been sending throughout 2019. As you can see, we have all of these decks here, which majority of them you guys donated to the channel. So I appreciate all of the love. And as always, we're going to say a quick prayer over the energy just to give God thanks and just to ask him for clarity and give us guidance right now so Father God thank you so much for um coming in our life and just guiding us and just seeing our way through a lot of obstacles and a lot of um transitions that we were making in 2019 2020 and show me the money season Father God we are just determined uh, we're showing our worth to ourselves first, you know what I'm saying? Because when we look in that mirror, that diamond that shines in that mirror, Father God, mm -mm -mm. can't nobody tell us nothing. We are sparkly. We are shining. We are just bright for everything, for all eyes to see, Father God. We want the world to see us glowing, Father God. So thank you so much for allowing us to have this pure, shining diamond vision. You know, we're in this diamond in energy right now thank you so much for um just lifting us father god and gifting us with this gracious renewal father god we're patient we're diligent and we're moving steadfast on our journey give us guidance for february thank you for today and every day we pray amen all right let's get into this let's get into this gemini all right so give me guidance for gemini please Thank you so much. Let's see. Passion. A mag oh, okay. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at the present. Enjoy it. All right, Gemini. All right. My, 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 Gemini. Hold on. So there's a lot of passion going on right now, Gemini. Yes, ma'am. My, 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 Gemini. Yes. Okay. It says... If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. Oh, baby, there's a lot of passion going on. You might need to listen to your heart at this current moment, baby. Okay, let's see what else we got going on here. It says, Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Okay, and then it says only time will tell. All right, so y'all know it is uh, Valentine's Day coming up, okay? So I feel like there might be a relationship, there's a connection right now where it might be still holding on by a <laughs> thin thread or something like that. Um, 
where it's like you're really having to really listen to your heart and just listen to where your heart is, is telling you to go. There's still like a lot of passion. There's still a lot of passion and there's still a lot of love for each other, but it has to be a little bit more in order for it to survive, you know. Um, whatever type of resentments, whatever type of hurts, you need to really look at, like, can you really get over them? Or is it too much for this connection to stand the test of time? Do you understand? Like, you're going to have to weave around that thread. You're going to have to strengthen that thread. You're going to have to bond that thread. You know what I'm saying? Even if you're just hanging on, you're going to have to, like, put some effort or put some energy around it to strengthen it and only time will tell like you have to try to work to clear away that resentment and let go of certain things and really let your passion shine through you know what i'm saying and follow your heart and not think about things too much you know what i'm saying and, and see what happens so let's see what this is this is the Page of Wands. We got the Page of Wands. So the Page of Wands is a message of just like a, a passion, a message of love, a message of interest. You know, so um, there is a lot of passionate communication um, going back and forth. People telling each other their feelings. Oh, we got the devil. We got the devil. So it's like, it's a lot of it's <laughs> it's just a lot of communication about like sex it's a lot of lustful communication y'all just talking about what y'all want to do to each other where y'all see each other how horny y'all making each other it's like these messages back and forth you like y'all could even be at work or something and y'all riling each other up and things like that we got the six of pentacles so Y'all might be receiving a gift in the future. You know that this is um, Valentine's Day coming up. But it's like, it's like, I feel like it's the forbidden apple though with the devil. Like, just be careful. Like, it's like that forbidden fucking apple, boy. It's something about that devil being right there. It's like someone being lured in by, like, passionate, lustful like being tempted like being tempted like to bite the forbidden fruit like i don't mean for it to turn like sour or something like that but it's like i cannot like acknowledge the devil for being the devil for who the devil is it's like being tempted being lured into like bitter forbidden fruit you could be even be getting lured in by gifts by like little trinkets little tokens of affections like these morning messages about how they think about you how hard they are they could you could even be getting dick pics or pics of just like how wet someone is being. <laughs> like, like all this type of stuff talk about what they want to do they want to eat them for breakfast and it's like i feel like this is like a lot of like uh steamy communication to try to lure and tempt somebody into like bite a forbidden fruit or something like that but it's all like governed and just designed and centered around like lust it's like um i <sighs> what is this this is the ten of cups in the reverse so like the ten of cups means like it was a breakup it was a breakup here so I think that's why it's like the resentment and only time will tell and the magnetic seduction and stuff like that and like I and and and, and uh, 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 uh. God, why does Gemini's reader always got to have some shit like this in it? But it's like you could like this person could be doing like certain things to like like do like doing certain things intentionally like wearing certain sexual sexy things like revealing clothes while someone is coming to like pick up their kids or like like i said sending nasty pictures like doing things intentionally to like lure someone back 
because it seems like it, it was a broken home or something. Emotions are a natural part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. And <clears throat> yeah, the Eight of Cups is like someone walked away. Like someone, there was a breakup. Like there was a divorce. Do you understand? There's a separation in a home. That's the, the Ten of Cups in the reverse represents a home that there was a breakup, a family, a breakup, a divorce, a separation. And then the Eight of Cups represents someone emotionally walking away with literally the clothes on their back, like not wanting anything that was there, like completely being emotionally void to any type of responsibility or family obligation or, you know what I'm saying? So like, this is like someone who could have completely walked away from a family and like has no intentions to look back you know and like whoever this is still has some type of passionate lustful desires and it's like they are trying to tempt someone back um and 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 i'm going to keep it real it's like you could be using some type of spells or some type of trickery or something to you see how this girl is doing all of the stuff the lord is man come back in there to the, like bite this fucking forbidden apple listen she sitting right next to the devil and all of this stuff like that is trying to get this person aroused and like page of fucking wands and boy it's like someone using like low vibrational mature tact immature tactics to try to seduce someone to get what they want to get their favor like even willing to buy and give someone gifts and 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 to give someone trinkets and to buy them clothes and to give them whatever they want just to get them to come back home like that's basically what i'm getting what is this the empress in reverse so this is someone that could be like the mother of like i told you this was a family um but for whatever reason i feel like this rejection is making this person not feel as attractive as they used to be because it's like if you're being rejected like of course like I think every woman looks at their self like is there something wrong with me like maybe I need to like change my wardrobe maybe I need to fix my hair maybe I need to do this maybe I need to do that you know what I'm saying so it's like um, I feel like this rejection is like forcing this person to want to change their appearance, wanting to be more um, like want to update their wardrobe, be more modern or something like that, more fashionable. Like it's like they 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 feel like maybe their attire or the way that they carry themselves may be frugal. That's what I'm hearing. It's like. Um, they want to they want to be able to have the confidence to carry their self like this you know what i'm saying and um i also feel like this is someone that feels that they're barren they want to try again for another child but it's like maybe their body is not allowing them to do so or something like they might have tapped out they've had enough, you know they've reached their limit with the amount of kids that they're able to have or something like that so that can make them feel some type of way like they're not able to get pregnant again or something like that so it just it's not making them feel like a you know a woman you know what i'm saying so it's like this rejection this person walking away the 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 home just being dismantled like this and like just kind of not being able to get what they want just make them want to It's like a, a lack of self-esteem almost, you know what I'm saying? Where it's like this person is kind of like willing to do anything almost to kind of get the attention and try to lure someone backwards almost. And it's like, um, mm, what is this? The two of pentacles in a reverse. Yeah, it's like this someone lost. It's like they lost the game that's what I just heard it's like they lost the game like someone sat them down like time out um having to do it by yourself it's like 
and you see how like this man is trying to sneak up and spy up on something and it's like I feel like someone is not able to kind of see like you've been blocked where you can't like approach this person like run up on this person and see what this person is doing like it's like the ball is out of your control now or something do you understand what I'm saying you know how I said the ball is in your hands it's like the ball is not in your hands now do you understand because you see how like this person is like creeping up on someone Gemini so I don't know if like you had someone that was just like trying to creep up on you Gemini or like always like kind of like use some type of leverage over you where you know and you and you maybe like took the ball out of their hand Gemini so like it, 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 it's like it's like I, I'm, out, I'm off balance you know what I'm saying with you me trying to let you control the steering wheel I need to put the ball in my hand like the ball is in my court now or something like that and it's like I only need one ball right now I just need to focus on my ball I can't focus on me and focus on you or something like that you know what I'm saying so y'all use this energy however it is but I'm seeing like I'm seeing like a woman I'm seeing because it's like the empress in the reverse and all of that stuff like that The devil is sitting next to her. Like, that's why I'm reading it like that. But it could most definitely be the other way, you guys. Where some immature man that is literally just using his dick. You know what I'm saying? Like, using his dick, trying to lure you in and, you know, trying to give you favor and just give you gifts and all of this stuff like that sending you all of these passionate letters that are primarily talking about sex <laughs> like every time you talk to this person the conversation always gears around sex at some point in time you know what i'm saying like that's all this motherfucker know how to talk about you know and and this is someone that you might have walked away from, that you might have rejected. You know what I'm saying? Y'all might have already had a commitment and family with each other. You walked away from this person. This person is trying to maybe approach you or maybe whatever they were offering you. You were like completely just over it. Do you understand? There was a separation. There was a divorce. You felt like maybe you had to start all over again. You... You had to start all over again after everything that you went through. You might have felt overworked, tired, haggard, maybe having to deal with all of the children by yourself. Maybe you felt like you didn't want any more children after the last experience that you had. Or maybe your body is getting too old for children and you just are just done with that phase of like trying to mother and even like try to mother man it's like i'm tired of raising grown-ass man like i don't i look i don't want i don't want this like i don't i'm tired of raising grown-ass fucking man like please take take your take your little nut and take your ass the fuck on go the fuck on somewhere okay because i don't <laughs> whatever you offer i do not want it baby i'm off balance i don't need nobody sneaking up behind my back checking my messages checking every move that i make asking me why i'm doing this why i'm dressed like this why i'm doing this and who i'm house i'm over calling those people house to make sure i'm over their house and like what the fuck like, get the hell out of here with that dumb ass shit. Like, that shit make me feel fucking crazy. Like, that shit, no. You know what I'm saying? That shit make me feel off balance, off kilter. Like, I'm not no fucking child. You know? I'm not no child at all. So, Gem Gemini, I don't know if that's um, someone putting you through that. Or I don't know if someone is cross-watching and they're dealing with a Gemini. And the Gemini was doing that to you. But, um... Yeah. What is this? The wedding in the reverse. Yeah, it was this is a divorce. It's the divorce. And to make an effort in the reverse. Like there's a there was a breakup. They're not even willing to make an effort. They're not willing to turn back. Like I told you that shit. To keep an open mind in the reverse. That is like it's like whoever this is that is still trying to use magic and tricks and 
uh, tactics and alluring shit to try to get someone to come back. It's just like you need to stop like keeping your mind open towards this and you need to focus your energy towards something else. It's like it's over. Do you understand? Like whoever this is on the other end of this, I don't feel like whatever gifts that you're trying to give or whatever it is that you're trying to do to get them to come back to you. I don't necessarily see that it's going to work because it's attached to the devil. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like, listen, free yourself. Free yourself. And you need to free yourself from the devil too. Whoever this is, that is this shit right here. Because it's like you're letting... It's like... This is someone stupid low... Even willing to give someone all your money just to get them to come back. Like, at the end of the day, how the fuck is that going to benefit you in the long run? Do you understand what I'm saying? Listen, it's, the flirt is in the reverse. I feel like you shouldn't even flirt with this idea. You just need to free yourself from this situation and kind of just let it go. Let me just get one more right on down the middle. Like, what's the, what's the center? What's the... Oh, gosh. I want to say, what's the center value? What's the center value? What is this? The Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords. It's, it's time for you to kind of stand up in your element and, like, really face the truth. Like, one thing about the Queen of Swords, like, she's very, very smart. She's very intelligent. She's very, you know, direct. You know, like, she don't play no games. She don't bullshit around. So, it's like, you have to, like, kind of stand up and be who you are. And, you know, the Queen of Swords and the Tarot deck, she is, like, a, a widow. She's, like, single. You know, she's not attacked. She's not married to nobody. So, it just might be time for you to just, like, be unattached at the moment. And what's at the bottom of the deck? You got the, is this the Nine of Chalices? This is the Nine of Chalices in the reverse. So it's like, I don't think that this is going to make you very happy. And then the Knight of Put. Oh my gosh. So it's like, and then what is this? Oh my God. Y'all could be dealing with a water sign or something like that. But it's like, you need to be by yourself at the moment, right now. To like regain your strength and get back to like the meat and potatoes of the thing like that. Because it's like, I feel. Someone is getting a little bit unhinged and willing to give too much of their self, you know, to. And it's like, I, I get it. And, and it's like that, that passion, like I bet that passion is magnetic and shit. Y'all got the devil right here and like all this shit with the fucking six of pentacles. It's like someone willing to give, willing to say, willing to, the, the, the page of pen, the page of wands is like very somewhat immature. Someone just so excited and just so, um, wants what they want so bad that they're not really, Thinking about the end results and, and, and the price that they're going to pay for what they're asking for in the long run. Like, they're just a child. They're thinking of it as a, with a child's mindset. But we're grown. Do you understand what I'm saying? And you're a queen. So, it's like time for us to like really kind of like stand up on our shit to act like it. Because at the end of the day, let's, let's, let's call a thing. Let's call a thing a thing here. Okay? At the bottom of this... Deep in your heart, this says the Knight of Chalices in the reverse. You're dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The Knight of Chalices will fall in love with anybody that blink an eye at them. You understand? They fall in love at a whim. They are not loyal to nobody but their self and their own emotions at the time. Based off of whatever the fuck they're feeling. Because you know that they could be up one moment, one moment and down another. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is someone that might not even necessarily know what love is. Someone that is chasing whatever their idea of love is. Okay? This could be someone that drinks a lot. That might be a little bit emotionally unbalanced. So at the end of the day, you know this shit. And with this Queen of Swords, you 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 don't have any like problem with cutting this shit out and like really recognizing the thing as it is. Like calling the thing a thing. Like let's call the thing a thing. Recognize this motherfucker for who they is. Like don't sit there and try to give people more credit and and, and, and try to what you want to allure that back for. Only thing it's going to be is a whole bunch of fighting, arguing, cussing, 
only thing that y'all have in common is this kinky ass sex that y'all be having because both of y'all are fucking violent and fucking crazy because y'all have these crazy ass arguments and a whole bunch of this passionate crazy ass fucking makeup sex and the next thing you know y'all be arguing and ready to cut and fuss and fight and, 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 and like tear each other apart and it's like everyone sees this shit and it's like this shit is like a fucking shit show you understand so that's why it's like you gotta really step in your element with this queen of swords and cut this out right here what is this the nine of child says you're not even happy you're not even happy i don't even feel like this person courts you no more this person even their heart is not even open to you in the way that it used to they don't even show you the heart that they had what made you fall in love with them you're not doing that anymore you understand like everything that made you feel to make you wish on that star in the past and make you wish you would have never wished on it at all. You do not feel emotionally fulfilled at all. You understand? And I, and, and I really do feel like this is someone that also might have like a substance abuse or a drinking problem. I don't know if it's you, the female, or if it's the male, or if it's both of y'all. But I definitely feel like two fishes in the goddamn water. Like, y'all just like, like, <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of drinking. There's a lot of I don't know why I feel like sex with people end up with bruises on them and some shit. Like, I don't know. Like, someone is into, like, some weird... Uh, I don't know. It's like y'all be ending up with bruises on each other. And y'all be fighting. Like, it's, like, crazy. It's it's very non-committal with this night of child. It's... Mm -mm. Give me guidance. What is this? The winter. Well, we're in the winter right now. What's going on? It's just like... It's chilly. There's not going to be a return coming back. So I don't know if maybe you were hoping that things would just get better this winter. Then I seen settling. You need to forgive for whatever has happened and let it go. This was a karmic partner. You knew that from the beginning. You knew that when you met this person, it came, you came into the situation with the karmic situation. Listen, you're, there's someone that's stalking. Ever you're stalking this person or they're stalking you, you know? Like, this is, this is, no. Look, balancing the scales. Like, this is 2020. This is the, 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 the year of everything is evening out. It's time for you to stop settling. Because it says that you're settling. So, and, 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 do not, listen, I already told y'all before, do not shoot the messenger. I gotta read, because this is Gemini's reading, so I have to read this as if, do you, I have to read this, how, 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 how this is on the table. Um, first thing that I'm getting is that this is a female that is going through this and that need to be up on her boss up shit. You understand? Like, Gemini, we've definitely had this conversation before. I don't know if you're, like, going through some makeup to break up with someone that you seem to have had, like, right before 2019 had ended. It seemed like you had bossed up and you had separated from this person. And I don't know if y'all got back together or what, but... It looks like this breakup is right back on the table this winter. And this time it's not going to be no return. So you just need to forgive this shit. Like this shit was karmic. This shit was karmic and you need to stop watching this person. Do you understand? Because that's the way I'm taking this shit. You need to stop watching this shit. And that's why it's like the Queen of Swords. Like you just need to cut this shit out and just like... The Queen of Swords is a boss bitch that be on her own that run shit. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, it's time to balance the, the scale and stop settling. Do you understand? And with that, that teddy bear there, I really do feel like this is like very childish. It's like childishness here. It's childishness here. Okay? And I don't know why I really do want to, um, I, I, I'm not going to do that. It's like, I want to go get the shadow deck because it's like, for some reason, it's like, why do we keep going through this with this person? I just, I don't, I am going to get it. This is my channel. I can do what the hell I want to do. <laughs> Where's my deck at? Where's my deck at? I'm going to get my shadow deck because it's like, we got to really kind of face this shit because I'm so tired of seeing like spells magic like people stooping to like 
doing crazy shit just to keep somebody like this shit has been coming on and Gemini's um readings for a long time and I'm just like really tired of this and we just like really got to like address this shit so we can heal and we really do some hard conversations and face this shit and let's get over this because this stalking is looking at somebody I don't know if, and in Gemini if this is not you doing this if this is the person doing this to you send them this video so they can stop doing this shit because you feel their energy motherfucking stalking you like this shit was like when you come into a situation as, you know, if if there was someone already present in a situation before you came involved, it don't matter if that person left or not and you ended up being the main person or whatever. It don't matter. It's karmic. Do you understand? You can't say. That's why everyone, I keep trying to tell everybody this divine masculine, this divine feminine conversation. People have to stop. The divine masculine, divine feminine, the karmic. Every last person in this picture is a fucking karmic. The situation is karmic. The man is not a divine masculine. The woman is not a divine feminine. The karmic is not a karmic. The man, the woman, every one of them is karmic. Don't nobody end up being divine until they walk away from karmic situations like this. And they have elevated. You understand? They have metamorphed into the true divine masculine into a true divine feminine. Every last person in this picture is karmic. Do you understand what I'm saying? And that's why that balance in the scales is there. You can't keep stalking this person and saying, oh, well, that, that person's the karmic and this, this, and that. And that. No, 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 no. We're going to stop all this. And I spent all 2019 trying to clean the streets up of the YouTube streets of this this delusion behind this shit. Every last one of y'all are karmic. This man is not the one for you. This woman is not the one. This is ruthless. Ruthless? Really? Really, Gemini? And someone don't want to be with you. You just willing to do whatever you got to do. You just, you willing to just do whatever. You'll, you'll drag them through the mud. Like, they ain't going to be with you. They ain't going to be with nobody else. They damn sure ain't going to motherfucking have no money. They ain't going to have no spirit value with they self. You going to break this motherfucker. You understand what I'm saying? Like, really, like, that's not vengeful. Vengeful. Clarification, brother. Void. It's like, <laughs> oh my God. And then you got faithfulness. There's like no belief. You don't have no spiritual belief. I can see that. I can see that. I can see that. You got non action in the reverse. Look, sell out. Look at this guy, y'all. Look at this person y'all dealing with. I already told you the faithfulness. Don't even believe in nothing. Look at this. <laughs> what sell their own stuff? What sell their own soul? What sell their own fucking soul? T look, t this is crazy. This is crazy. And then what is this right here? Superficial. So let's break this down here. Because this is, this is, this is some... And then what do you got at the bottom of this? Medicaid. And I told y'all this is someone that got substance abuse issues. So you might as well put that right there. <laughs> you might as well put that right there as well. So let's call a thing a thing here. Because something told me to pull these cards out. This is someone that really need to get their act together. And like I said, step up and be the beautiful fucking queen that you should be. Because you're letting... Something that you can't control, control you. Where you are like literally willing to be ruthless, be vengeful. So what you going, what you going to do, fight? You going to hurt somebody because they don't want to be with you? You going to go do spells? You going to go, what, like that stalker card? You going to be observed? All of that shit is devil. That's that devil energy. That's that low vibrational shit, baby. He got you, boo. He got you wrapped right up in his goddamn hands. Right up in his hands. And it's like, yeah, because I'm filling the void because I don't believe in anything. I don't believe in anything. And I can't stop medicating. You understand what I'm saying? Anything to fill this void because you don't have any sense of belief. Do you understand? To <laughs> Like literally, 
Seriously? Probably don't even pray before you go to bed at night. Probably don't even thank God for your kids, for your job, for your home. Wouldn't you just think you just wake up and, 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 and it's just given to you because you're just supposed to have it because you're just lucky? You understand what I'm saying? Listen, this is someone that need to get their whole little shit the fuck together. Because this shit that I'm seeing right here, this is someone that is being governed by someone that is definitely not of uh, high vibration at all, baby. Do you see this? Does this look like someone that is governed by high vibration? And does it look like someone that is making any action to do anything of the sort to be governed by high vibration? I think not. It says non-action in the sellout, honey. Their soul is gone, baby. This motherfucker is gone. I told you this motherfucker. Look at this. Rueful, vengeful, the dark void, the faithfulness with literally the cross upside down, honey. The medication in the reverse. Someone who cannot stop medicating. All right. And likes to follow behind the superficial stuff. This is someone trying to keep up with the Joneses. They're putting on this superficial front for a whole bunch of people. They want people to believe that their life is this beautiful fairy tale. That they got all these nice clothes, the perfect house, all these beautiful kids. They got the man they got. Listen, look, not if you got to motherfucking do all of this shit. The, the, not if you got to do all of this shit. Because like I told you, this is someone that is literally willing to steep to the lowest of low because you're not telling everybody that you're willing to give this motherfucker all your money and that you slutting yourself out and that you're not telling these motherfuckers everything that you're doing to motherfucking get a person to come back to you you understand but you'll put that you'll put that front out there to settling observe to 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 child i will not be the one to do it listen I love y'all, Gemini. Y'all got to get this shit together. I don't know who this is, Gemini. And if this is not you, Gemini, and this is someone you like reds, no, this not me. This is someone doing this shit to me. Pass the message. Tell them they need to work on this shit. They need to go somewhere and see Jesus. Because there's something wrong with them. There's really something wrong with these people, honey. Child. So let's clarify this. Let's give them some guidance to going out the door with, Father God, please. What is this? You got hope. Okay, now, okay. so you praying for something, or at least you hoping for something. I don't know if you praying, but you hoping on something. But you definitely got a third party energy in in regards to this. So, I don't, listen, I'm, I'm pressure. listen. We already see who you anchored into. We already see who this person anchored into and who they send their hopes and dreams down to. Shit. Okay? Then you got a port of revelations. It looks like, listen, with you know, diamonds represent spiritual revelation, spiritual information. So it looks like for whoever needed to hear what type of person this really is that they're dealing with, it looks like we got some information today that put us firmly planted on our motherfucking feet. Now, didn't we? We see what type of person this really motherfucker is and who this person really send their hopes down to. Okay, bitch? Uh-uh. Listen, there's going to be a visit. There's going to be a visit. Like this person has some like level of fixation with someone. Like they might be. I don't know if you. Like I feel like someone is most definitely watching you. Someone is watching you. So like this Valentine's Day. If you like going out with a day. Don't be posting where you going to be located at. And stuff like that. Someone might come and pop up on you. While you out on your date. And stuff like that. Listen, if you're a dark-haired man, this message is for you, okay? So, listen, if this, because this is the page of goddamn, um, I mean, this is the Jack of Hearts and stuff like that. And then this is the Jack of Spades. So, the Jack of Spades represents trouble, represents a bully, represents, <laughs> like, seriously, represents, like, a gang of force or something like that. So, like... It says it's a visit, and as you can see, these are two people, like, going out at a restaurant, and someone, like, <laughs> rolling up on them, like, hey, do you mind if I interrupt? <laughs> it's like, this person sent a message. Do you understand? This person sent a message that they want delivered. Do you understand? Oh, my goodness. 
someone might roll up on you on your date. Like, yeah, let me, let me, how, how about I sit down and talk to your husband? How about I sit down and talk to your wife real quick? You know, I got a message that was sent. <laughs> Some important news that I think you might need to know that's going to affect your finances. <laughs> like your finances. And you're like, what? What? Someone might be coming to, like a dark-haired man might be coming to enforce the truth about something. What is this? Inconsistency? The six of spades means like somebody that you've been inconsistent with. The, 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 the six of spades represents, that's like the death card. That's you were kind of like trying to wean somebody, like trying to wean off of something. You were inconsistent. Like you didn't just like cut someone off cold turkey. It's like you try to wean someone off to like get away almost do you understand what is this saying the consultant they're going again the three the three of hearts and again we have spades here so it was most definitely like a third party situation it was someone that had their butt planted in two different seats do you understand separating themselves between two different places and someone they were being inconsistent with was trying to wean their self off to clearly get their feet planted and rooted somewhere else yeah gamble it was like this person took a gamble and then also you gotta be careful because the two of spades represents like a fist of cuffs like fist fights arguments like brawls like you know what i'm saying like people getting hurt <laughs> people getting hurt so I'm just giving y'all a warning, okay? Because this is what I'm getting. What's at the bottom of the deck? What is this? Love. And what is this? The six of the this is for this the, the six of hearts is this represents the divine masculine. So if you got any type of facial hair at all, or any type of long hair, okay? Any type of like drip look, confirmation. Oh my god. Woo, buddy, if you got any facial hair, like I'm seeing chin hair, if you got any type of long, dark hair at all, like, you know, just like, just be careful because I feel like, especially if you running your mouth too much and you telling people and whoever you dating or whoever you going out with is posting pictures and someone can peep the location of where you at, be careful because I feel like somebody might send someone after you to, to, to show up to pay you a fucking visit because like i told you the <laughs> that's a gang enforcer do you understand what i'm saying you see how she telling this nigga something like yeah i want you to go run up on them they're gonna be at this restaurant and shit like that yeah just roll up on them like that and just send them a message real quick just let them know real quick what the fuck i'm talking about i ain't playing you understand what i'm saying they're saying the dark haired man watch out y'all Watch out, because this you've been inconsistent, and you've been playing around in this love situation. Do you understand what I'm saying? You've been inconsistent, and you were gambling. You understand? And this person doesn't play to, to lose. Like I told you, this person is ruthless. This person is vengeful. Ruthless, vengeful. Y'all better watch our back. Listen, Gemini, y'all, this been y'all reading. Gemini, I want, I want y'all to watch our back. I want y'all to watch our back. This person is completely gone. Completely gone. Listen, completely gone. Completely gone. Completely gone. Listen, where we at? Completely gone. I want y'all to look at these cards. Completely gone. Willing to do anything. Completely gone. Where, where, where the rest of this shit? Drugs, drinking, where the other shit at? Stalking, no faith, <laughs> no confirmation, karmic. Listen, I, I love y'all. Y'all be careful. Peace. Hit the like button if this resonated. Uh, if y'all need a personal, y'all let me know so I can help y'all with this because we're going to have to go deep on y'all. <laughs> love you. Peace.